Oh, no, she's turned off her hearing aid again. Sister! I've got an idea. Why don't we couple our engines? Fine, that'll bring us all the way to 10 horsepower. Oh, this is wonderful. Do you smell that fresh mountain air? You can smell it after we've won the race. Hey, Jimmy, what's with the toy up there? He's cramping my style. Didn't you know Whirly was our lookout? It flies up ahead of us and warns us of any danger. Or have you learned to see around corners? Honestly, some people are just never satisfied. Doo-doo to Whirly. Doo-doo to Whirly. Increase distance to 150 feet further up. Whirly to Doo-doo. Read you loud and clear, moving away. We'd better hurry, Marquesa. The weather report was calling for storms. Then it's a good thing we'll be flying most of this race. What do you hear from Brown and Brown? They just reported that they'll be waiting for Regazzani and that Bondi fellow up in the mountains. That's just a fact. Whirly, let's have your report. Individual in question directly ahead. Whirly will handle preliminaries for passing maneuver. Over and out. Thing playing about Please up there. engage your television monitor. Over and out. Hurry up, Mr. Brown. A fine place to be flying on the helicopter. I'm sorry. Hey, this is Dudu. Fly back at once. And warn Aldo Regazzani he's in danger. You read me, Whirly? Loud and clear. Changing course to Regazzani's car immediately. Attention. Obstacle on the road. Move it! Obstacle on the road. Danger. surprise at all. Aldo Regozzani to service area. I want to report a total crack up. I'll need a substitute vehicle immediately. Over. What are you staring at? Oh. Some mess you've got here. So what else is new and funny? Can I give you a hand? You get back on the road. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. Come on back. I do need some help. I can't get the door open. Move it's your stuck. Head. You ought to watch where you're going. And you'd better watch your mouth. I'll uh, close the door for you. I can handle that myself. Well done. It's a pity you're out of the race already, Aldo. Nonsense. I haven't even started racing yet. I don't follow you. You ought to read the competition rules more closely. If you report a complete crack-up to the racing committee and they confirm it, then you can continue in a substitute car. If that's not a wreck, I don't know what is. <laughs> that it is. You uh, didn't happen to see my little helicopter, did you? That little pain in the neck belongs to you? Yes. I wanted to warn you of that obstacle on the road. That jalopy. I would really love to find out who put that thing up there. The place looks abandoned. Really? Didn't you see anyone? So that thing was planted there intentionally for me to crash right into it. Marque... Uh, the Marchese? Ah, uh, see, si, of course it was the Marchese. When I get my hands on him, I'll twist his head around. Let's have a look. How? Doodle will manage that. Doodle will manage that. Ugh. They're walking Brown, over to I'd the car. Like to know what kind of trick Jimmy Bondy has up his sleeve this time. If they're anywhere around here, we'll find them. Early reporting. Objective. 
objective in sight. Distance about 150 feet. Just as I thought, Brown and Brown Limited. So it was the Marchese after all. I suppose that's some kind of a slogan. Regrettably, only a semi-success. Am I talking to Brown and Brown Limited? I say, was that the telephone? I shouldn't think so. Anyone on this mountain? Hey, hand it over. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I believe you're the fellows with the go-go, if I am not mistaken. I've been sent up here to put you through the go-go test. What? He, he wants, wants to test, test our go-go? Go -go? Now, I want you fellows to come running down the mountain, shouting your slogan at the top of your lungs. The fellows with the go-go. Well, what are you waiting for? Good heavens. How very undignified. Let's get out of here. Right. You'll do as you're told, unless you want a whirlybird up your nose and... Oh, <laughs> Finish him off. Hey, buddy, whatever happened to that substitute car? They said it would take four minutes. In fact, I think I can hear it coming in on a wing and a prayer. Up there. Here comes the drone we tried to catch at the entrance. Get your sign ready, Mr. Robushti. Aha! Uh -huh. This time he won't get away from us. Now our disguises are perfect. This is my hair to all right. Very attractive. Well, here we go. Stop! Stop! Stop, I say! Oh! Are you out of your mind? Get out of my way, you idiots! Don't you see we're running a race? That's what you think, can't you read? This route is a no-no. <laughs> this is the end of the road for you. You're disqualified. Since when do they start hiring hippies to referee these races? Unless you're uh, right at your surface. Jakob Robusti, head referee. Now let's have your rally pass. Disqualified. You call that fair? Why, 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 why? That should be perfectly obvious. You haven't read the competition rules very carefully. Otherwise, you would realize that no car can be disqualified for taking a no-no route unless all four wheels are going forward. Now, you are facing forward. But what's the difference between their car and ours? Hmm? One item. The back of the car was attached to the front. Only it was turned around so it could go forward. Thus, two of the wheels were going backward. <laughs> The competition is tough, but he's still way up in front, folks. But the others are in hot pursuit. And this race is getting more and more like a catch-as-catch-can horsepower battle. It's becoming a murderous fight against both the clock and the wild rules under which this, the goofiest rally in the world, is conducted. All the referees have their hands full keeping control over these wild men of the wheel. And as if this weren't enough, the scene of battle has now shifted to the country of eternal ice and snow, an open invitation to accidents and dropouts. One novelty in this year's event is the commendable conduct of those two little nuns participating. Without any regard for their own time loss, they have been stopping regularly along the way to render first aid to injured drivers.
these ladies are sportsmen in the truest sense.